when your students get a bit more adventurous or even as they're working through some of the projects they may want to build bigger models with more features maybe two or three motors maybe three or four different sensors and in order to do that they're going to need more hubs well we can actually connect up to three hubs to one mobile device let's have a look at how we do it well I'm back inside my we do app and if you look down at the bottom of the screen you'll see in my port view that I already have a hub connected and if I tap on my connection center there it is so what I'm going to do is connect up two more hubs so I can use all of those features so if I turn the second hub on there you go it appears in my connection center window give it a tap and I'm connected and the same thing with hub number three give it a tap and I now have three hubs connected to one device so potentially I could operate for example three motors and three sensors or even six motors at a time if I just tap away my port view window down at the bottom has again changed and you can see that there are three hubs showing and that there are three motors showing when it comes to programming these motors there is something that I need to do so if I drag up one of my programming blocks one of my motor blocks at the moment if I hit play that block will activate all three motors at once but if I want to differentiate between them and specify which motor I want to turn on what I need to do is tap and hold on the motor block and you can see that a little grid pops out of the top and that grid's got a red block in the top left hand corner the grid's divided into six showing me that I have six ports available and the red block there corresponds to the motor that's plugged in to the port of my first hub if I for example wanted this motor block to control the motor in hub number two I just keep tapping on that grid until the colored block reaches the correct place and as you can see now down at the bottom right the green block represents the motor in hub number two so what that means is for example if I wanted to turn that motor on for a second and I wanted to turn a different motor on after that then I can very quickly and easily do that just by specifying which motor I want to operate by doing that long tap on the motor block well I hope you can see the potential there for creating bigger models with more features